What are people talking about on social media today? Jurors in Colorado today decided to move the final phase and consider a possible death sentence for Aurora theater shooting gunman James Holmes. Hello, I'm David Erickson and this is the 406 and now here are the top statewide headlines at this hour. Most of Glacier National Park had remained immune to smoke from the Reynolds Creek fire burning for almost two weeks on the east side of the park, but like much of western Montana, other wildfires in the northwest have now cast a haze across the skies above much of the park. The Reynolds Creek fire has now burned almost 4,000 acres and is 67% contained. Two people are unaccounted for after a house fire in Columbia Falls. Fire Chief Rick Hagen says firefighters have been unable to find two people who had been in the house when the fire started this morning. No one had seen them escape. Homeowner Juanita Hallis says she was at work when her husband called to tell her about the fire. She said her husband jumped out the window to escape, but that her daughter-in-law and her step-grandson were asleep in the basement when the fire started. Closing arguments began this morning in the case of a registered sex offender who was charged with trying to rape a woman and later escaping from police custody. Kevin Briggs faces several charges, including attempted sexual intercourse without consent and aggravated assault. The woman testified last week that she believed Briggs drugged a smoothie she drank in early February and that she awakened to find Briggs on top of her. A man is dead after an accident in the Clark Fork River near the Alberton Gorge on Sunday. The Frenchtown Rural Fire District responded to the river just west of the Sear exit shortly after 3 p.m. after a group of boaters in canoes overturned. One of the boaters was taken to the shore where CPR began to be administered. When emergency responders arrived, the man was put into an ambulance where crews continued to attempt to resuscitate him. Their efforts were not successful. Brent Musburger and Jesse Palmer will be on hand for the broadcast of the Montana NDSU football game later this month in Missoula. The game will be broadcast live on ESPN and will kick off the college football season. That's it for the 406. Subscribe to our The 406 video YouTube channel and tell us your thoughts about the show in a comment. Have a great evening.